where I hide sometimes play chess And when I'm out I'm looking for that vintage flame But all complexions that I adore So hard to find these seem impossible to score So I dream of To my channel. My name is Nicole Cole. Today I thought that I would share with you guys a uh, decor haul that I did this past week. Um, I was on vacation this week. Uh, my husband and I went to Shreveport and we kind of snuck through Laurel, Mississippi and I shared that with you guys. So um, I did get to go see my baby in Pensacola and I did go to TJ Maxx Home Goods. So it's a TJ Maxx home goods combined store y'all this thing is huge and it is awesome so i'll show you my tj maxx home goods uh finds first and then i did go to kirkland's really really fast i had some more uh, birthday money that i wanted to spend so let's talk about tj maxx so at tj maxx i grabbed several things of copper the first piece of copper that i bought was this tray it's got the little uh, cushion feet on it, which was really pretty. It's galvanized with that hammered copper around the, the band all the way around with the copper handles. This thing is really pretty. I paid $12.99 for it. That's a very good price for this piece. It's a good substantial, great to use like in your kitchen uh, as a base and then build upon that for your fall decor, dining room living room, a uh, coffee table, just throwing out ideas at you guys. So a tray can do so much and it's a good substantial piece. Once again, when you uh, start to clean up, you can just pick it up and move it off of the area. So I got a tray. Then I found this set and it came in two and I've already got excited and I opened the box on these. Uh, these little, I guess you just call them kind of glasses, but they do have that hammered copper as well. Uh, very pretty. So um, I thought that I could kind of mix these in with an arrangement. I can't remember what I paid. I paid $9.99 for those. $9.99 for a set of two, which, you know, I could add them in here and there. I could do them singular in a bathroom. So, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities for these. Then I just happened to catch it Oop, out of the corner of my eye was this beautiful copper pitcher. This, I love the detail on the handle. Very, very pretty. I love the hammered copper. It's uh, silver down inside, $14.99, $14.99. I thought that was a great find. Uh, I could use this from now all the way through Christmas. I really think this would be beautiful with our lodge tree in our dining room, all this copper. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use it. And with the pumpkins, this copper is absolutely gorgeous. $14.99 at TJ Maxx. I love this piece. What else did I get from TJ Maxx? I did buy me some garland. I, I wanted me some garland to hang over my mantle in our bedroom. I, I wanna add a little bit of fall in there. So when I can do my home tour with you guys, we can do basically, you know, the main area in our bedroom. So I found this garland and I thought it would be pretty. I was kind of torn. They had the black and white buffalo plaid and, and it had a little bit of a gray in it as well, which that's what my bedroom colors are. But my daughter insisted that I get this color. 
I did go with the orange, uh, and it's very pretty, and it's orange and ivory, but she thinks that would be pretty for fall in there to add a little pop of color. $12.99 for this garland piece. It's attached, to, it's attached together with jute, which is really, really pretty. I think it's gonna be very pretty in our bedroom. So um, I also grabbed this table runner. And I was, once again, I was torn on several different ones, but uh, this one had most of the colors that I'm going with this year. So I, I let my husband choose between this one and another one, and he chose this one, so I went with it. It's got the buffalo plaid, or this is not buffalo plaid, because buffalo plaid is really, really big, but this is plaid, and that's what I go with. So he liked this black and, he loves this black and white. So, and then it's got the orange and blue, and this is not an off-white or a cream, but it's kind of a beige, so I thought that was fine. And then it's got the really pretty, like, burlap fringe on it. Very, very pretty. And that's on both ends, so I thought that would be super cute on our dining room table, since I am going to use the buffalo plaid in there, but I'm going to use this smaller plaid as well. Since this is smaller, it will look good with it. So I'll mix that in. I thought that was really, really sweet. Then, and I would have never went with this color of pillow. But once again, my sweet daughter insisted, and she's young, so she knows more of the newer styles. I'm kind of to the older way. I'm to the older way. Um, but she said, Mother, this mustard is beautiful. So I got this mustard pillow. And with Happy Fall, y'all, how could you go wrong? It's Southern as it could be. But what I liked about it, and I'm gonna pull it closer, it's got the greens and the blues in there that I'm going with. So I think it's gonna mesh really, really well with my um, fall decor. I paid $19.99 for this pillow, and I don't think it's bad. This is a corduroy, and like you can see, this is all embroidered, which is really nice. It's a very nice pillow. So. Once we drop the children off, I sweet talked my husband into taking me to Kirkland's and he did, excuse me, God love him. And I toyed with getting some navy pumpkins from Kirkland's. You know, we just recently painted uh, a navy and a hunter green pumpkin and it was beautiful. And I thought, well, you know, I could buy some. I'm not knocking a business, but $7.99 and $11.99 for one pumpkin to me is just too expensive. So I made a choice. They have these bags of pumpkins. So this one has the green and I'm cool with that green. And this whole bag was $9.99 and I can get a lot of, um, I mean, that's a lot of pumpkins for $9.99, not $11.99 for this size, and that's what they were. But now, mind you, they were kind of a glass finish, but I could go to Dollar General and buy a wooden or a glass pumpkin much bigger than this for $5 and paint it myself. And that's the way my mind works. So I'm gonna use this because this has the orange and green, and then I bought these white ones. And like I said, what are there? There's a... Uh, three, four, five, five pumpkins in there for $9.99, and I'm gonna paint these the blue. I've already got the green, I've got the large green, I've got one small blue one, so I'm gonna paint these all that really pretty blue color. I picked up two other things from Kirkland's. This was my birthday money that I used. I got this beautiful copper pitcher. Isn't that really pretty? And y'all can see, I, I paid $29.99 for that. And I didn't think it was bad. I might use this in my um, my breakfast room. Not really sure yet, but I thought it was beautiful. And then, you know, I love the black and white. My husband loves the black and white. So we went with this one. I had looked at this one online and I loved it because I ha it had the greens in it and of course the black and white. So I got this one and this one was $39.99. Now all of their um, file was on sale. I wanna say one item was 20% off. I'm not really sure on that. Um, but I did, like I got my birthday surprise for that. Uh, I, I am a member of that Kirkland's at, on my email and I got a certain percentage off for $5. 
But, you know, at that point, I didn't really care. I just wanted what I had in my buggy. So um, that is my little haul that I did this past weekend. And uh, I wanted to kind of work with you all on building a silo for my farm area. I did move some things around and I wanted to show that with you all. So let's get over there and I'll show y'all and then we'll get started on my little silo. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice, or Facebook, I did this. Uh, tree the other day. So what this is, is one of those white lidded birch or lighted <laughs> birch trees that you buy for Christmas. I painted it the brown and I did tape in, I uh, paint in a little bit of the gray and then I just kind of strung these uh, limbs on there or excuse me, the greenery. And I thought it turned out really sweet. I also got in some straw or bales of hay, straw, whatever you want to call it but um, super sweet. I had someone tell me to lower the barn and take off my pictures, and I did that as well. So I wanted to show that to you, and it's so pretty. I am working on doing a uh, silo on this side, and I thought we could work on that together. But I think this setup's gonna be really pretty. So this is my idea for the silo. My parents had this big can, and I thought, I can make a silo out of that myself. So I thought, hey, my friends might wanna watch this. So just an empty can. I am gonna sand it just a little bit, and then I'm gonna paint it with white Krylon chalk paint. So um, I'm gonna get my camera adjusted and we'll get started. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me No one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do I'm gonna show y'all again how I did that top because it was a humdinger. So what I did is I took a plate, paper plate and I'll show you exactly what I did. I have to put my glasses on because I can't see. So I took my paper plate just like this. I cut it, straight it down like that. And then I kept playing with it to get it to fit the top of my thing. That wasn't deep enough, so I need to cut a little bit deeper, okay? So I go in just a little deeper. And you don't want it to bend like I just did. But you see how I'm getting it the shape that I want it? And you may have to keep kind of pulling it and playing with it because you know this part right here comes apart. So I just kept playing with it. And then, 
it's about the same size. Then I took my glue gun and I just went it in here. That wasn't very neat. And then I started clipping this off. Cause it, and, and that's what happened. I just cut this part off. All right, so I cut the brown top, and then I started kind of playing with it. Let's try to glue it again. Just hold it there for a good little bit. See how I'm getting the little cone? Isn't that sweet? All right, and I just thought, I could use this as my base. I'll cut this part off too. This is my base, and then I could put craft paper on top of that, or I could just leave it as is. It doesn't look bad like that, but um, I thought it was cute. So I just wanna get a good coat of the copper on the bottom. And then I may layer in some of this pavement color to give it a little more depth. But let's just play with this copper and see where it takes us. And some people may have wanna le left it just the white color and that's fine too. It's just totally what your decor is. You could do either way. I love the copper as y'all well know. taking it pretty good. And this is just a paper plate. I tried to do a piece of cardboard and it was square and it wouldn't do the shape that I wanted it to. So I just took and did a paper plate. And I think it worked out perfect. Maybe the end result will be like I want it to be. <laughs> may need a little bit more copper. Isn't that, that's beautiful color of paint. Let's let this dry and then we'll come back with the black. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this black just to kind of antique it. Or it's more of a grayish black. Let's play with that and see. I do want it around it. I thought I could leave it on the pot and do it, but I can't. I do want it around the edges. just to kind of give it a little bit more of a weathered look. All right, now what I wanna do is give it the stripes if I can and I may have to go back over it with the copper that one was easy let's go across
y'all see the look that it's giving it? Cute. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But like I said, I'm probably gonna have to go back with the copper just to touch it up to make it not so stark. But we'll get to that. Check it out, guys. It's so cute. Don't freak. It looks a little crazy right now, but I promise y'all it'll look good once we finish. Painting is all about layering. I'm kind of going back in with the copper and making those gray gray black lines a little more narrower and it kind of shadows if you see that a lot of copper on here. This place you can see it. It's better. Looks better right there. You see how it looks? Well, let me turn it on around. There you go. I may have to go find me some more copper paint. Coming along, guys. Just gotta keep touching the like copper here and there. guys I'm gonna let this dry I think I'm gonna paint our name on it and I will have my little silo and I will show y'all in the end y'all it's not perfect but it's so cute so I'm gonna back up and let y'all see I put a little metal thing that I had on the bottom just to kind of raise it up a little bit and I'll probably do some more adjusting on it like I do everything but I like it being rustic like that. 
and I may change the top on the little silo eventually, but for now, it's sweet, and I love it. So, I hope y'all enjoyed today. I surely did. I love taking nothing and making something, and I love sharing with y'all. Have a great day. Thank y'all.